hello and welcome to WPLMS tutorials in this tutorial we are going to learn about WPLMS appointments plugin so the main objective of the appointments plugin is to enable students to book an instructor based on their availability so let's get started so once you have installed and activated the plugin under the LMS settings tab you will see a new appointment sub tab and here you will be able to see a lot of options so for example the first option is to enable the appointment bookings for users so no setting it to no will disable the appointment appointments feature throughout the site setting it to all site users will mean that any registered user of your site can be booked and the last one is that only instructors and administrators in your site can be booked so the next is the date format since this is a javascript based calendar the wordpress settings of date and time format will not apply so you'll, you will need to select a date format a language and a time format so we have provided the help links so this particular link if you click on it it will open this file here you can see that we have the list of javascript so here the last two characters for example cs cabs is what we are expecting in the language field the highlighted string that is what we are expecting here in the language field Sec the other is the time format then we have the appointments minimum slot so this is the minimum slot that can be booked for any instructor for example the default value of this minimum slot is 30 minutes which means that if any student will book an instructor that duration will be 30 minutes it cannot be less than 30 minutes okay so before going further we are using a concept of slots and schedules in the appointments a slot is a bookable event for example from 4 30 to 5 pm in the evening a instructor can be booked so that particular slot that particular time period is what we are calling as slot a schedule is a collection of slots which can go across weeks across days across weeks so all the other settings like and all these I'll be covering later on in the tutorial so let's see how it works so once we have selected the once we have configured these settings the next step is to save the permalinks so we go to settings permalinks section and here if we scroll down you will see that we have a booking slug the instructors will see a appointments sub tab in their profile and when they click on the appointment sub tab they will see bookings instructing appointments settings and the student view the student view is what the student will see when they are going to book the instructor so the date format is coming from the settings that we that I just told you so let's go to the settings tab so under the settings tab we have a general sub tab and a schedule calendar sub tab so here you can enable bookings for the instructor then we have the appointments minimum slot time then minimum buffer time then maximum time for approving the appointments manually then there is a slot price then there is a slight message for bookers so here you can also add a form which the which the bookers have to fill in, or in order to purchase the purchase or book the slot then there is email reminders then there is a promotional video for the directory then the then the fields like gender language location these are coming from the settings so these are the searchable fields in the directory and we can set the values of these fields here in the settings and the instructor can select them from 
from their profiles so apart from that the apart from the general settings the main part of the appointment settings is the schedule calendar so as you can see we have a button for uh, for adding a availability schedule then there is a calendar icon when you click on the calendar icon you will see whole of the calendar what all schedules that you have created so the schedule color is actually coming from here now if we are going to add a schedule we have to click on add availability schedule and immediately you will see that this schedule is highlighted and the calendar is now expecting something so we have to click on set dates and we can select a schedule so for example i selected this schedule which starts from 13th of june to 29th of june and here i can remove the days on which i will not be available so by default if you see that the schedule is created for the entire day entire day which is starting from 00 to 23:59 which is the end of the day so the next is the set timings so here as you can see that we are we can select timings so what we have to do is we have to click just like the set dates we have to click and then drag and we can set the time period for which we are available we are going to for example we are going to be available from 9 to 4 so here if you see that we are seeing the minimum slot time which is again coming from the global settings with that we have set here the minimum slot time this is this is being displayed here so each hour is divided into we cannot select less than 30 less than 30 minutes so let's go back right so now we have to save the schedule so as soon as the schedule is saved you will see a value which is being added here so this is the value 529 which is the identifying number for the schedule so next if you click on the show calendar it is going to show the available days on which this particular schedule is there and we can click on show details which will again confirm confirm this so we can edit this schedule here for schedule specific settings so we are going uh, so i'll cover this break into slots in a minute so here we we see that we have the type so we have the available free slot schedule booking reserved so these are the type of schedules that are available so a available means that a user can book an entire schedule at once or any individual slot the free slots type of schedule means that the user can only book one slot at a time so the book the user cannot book the entire schedule then there is a schedule booking which means that the the free the single slots of the of the calendar cannot be booked only the whole of the schedule can be booked then we have the reserve which means that only the instructor can manually add bookers in this and similarly we have the booked which means the sh the schedule is not available for any further bookings next we have the status which is open and closed open simply means that it is available for booking close means that all the slots have been booked an instructor can also forcefully close a slot cl close a schedule so all the slots in the in the schedule will be cannot be booked any further then we have the assign to a course you can assign this slot to a, this schedule to a particular course so all these slots will be automatically assigned to that course so we'll be covering this later on then there is a note so this note appears to all the users who are going to book any slot on this schedule then we have the online meeting or video conference and we have a meeting note so let's save 
in this particular slot we are available from 9 in the morning to 4 in the evening so let's say we are going to break this into one hour schedules one hour slots so I set this to 60 minutes and click on save availability schedules so when we save the schedule we see that we have we have the slots divided into one hour sections from 9 to 10 10 to 11 and you can also remove the sections that you do not want as you can see we removed the one from 11 to 12 on a regular da daily basis And then we have to click on save availability schedules to save the slot time right so now if we click on the calendar we see that these are the schedules that are available so note that we if we now change this to from available to free slots time so once we save this to free slots you will see that all these slots are now showing in red color so this particular color is being picked from the appointment slot from the settings the free slots color and you can save the availability schedules right so now if we view the general calendar so this is how our calendar looks right now now for any student so let's say I am logged in as Dion and and I'm viewing the profile as a student so here I can see that we have the these slots and if we move forward you see that we have the free slots as well so this is coming from the schedule that we just created from 9 a.m. To 4 p.m. and individual slot is being divided into one hour and in in one case we also removed one slot so here you can book a slot so let's say we are going to book any any slot and all the formats the time format and the date format again are being picked from the from the global settings of the appointments so here you can select so this is the instructor for which I am booking and you can show the complete schedule so this appears the schedule full schedule appears for the for the available type of schedule for free for free slots we, we would not see the option to see the entire schedule because you you can only book one slot at a time so let's say we are going to book this slot and since there is no pricing attached to it when we book this slot we only get a alert notification that the appointment request was sent to instructor so now uh, since I booked the instructor which was again myself as a student so the student will see that these are the appointments for which the booking is pending and there is a 30 minute timeline in which the instructor will have to approve this again this 30 minutes timeline is coming from from the buffer time request for approval this buffer time can be adjusted by the instructor from from his profile appointments settings and in the general section the maximum time for manually approving the appointments so here immediately I see that I see a one in instructing appointments and as an instructor I will see this window I'll see the image of the student who booked my slot and this slot was for 8th of June and you see that we have the two option of accepting and rejecting so if we accept this and reload 
we see that we have this appointment for this particular student so this is the image of the student which appears in the instructing appointments in the bookings this is the screen of the student who booked the instructor and here the image of the instructor will appear and when you click on the more information you will see that there are three tabs details messages and activity log so in activity log you will see all the activity for this schedule from instructor and the user and you can message the instructor here when you click on the message it goes to the body press messages tab and you can type in any message and these messages will be recorded as booking messages so they will appear in the appointments so here in the appointments you will see that this message appears and all the replies and the conversation can be done right from from this tab so we have a lot of options here as you can see we have a direct message instructor then we have book another slot we have a cancel appointments request then we also have a reschedule appointments request so if there were any notes for this appointment they would have also appeared here so there are a lot of options which we will cover in our following tutorials so as a instructor in the instructing appointment section you will see booked slots and when you click on more details you will see the members who have booked this slot for example this particular slot is is booked by two members and unlike student we now have another tab which is the admin so using this tab you can cancel the appointment for any particular user or reschedule the appointment for for the user so next is that we go back to the settings and here we can assign a a price for the default slot so let's say 2 gbp and we save so now in the student view we will see that each of the slot that we are trying to book so here when we click on the slot we will see a price for the slot so here mm, the number of slots that we'll add will actually multiply with the slot price and for free, free slots we have this price and we can confirm the booking so when we confirm the booking we, we land in the cart page and here you see that we have a 15 minutes timer so this 15 minute is coming from the maximum appointment booking time from the appointment settings which is the maximum appointment booking time to complete the purchase and here if we complete the purchase so this is the WooCommerce checkout so while we are completing the purchase on the 15 minute timer that is currently going on the particular slot is removed from the booking schedule of the instructor so once the order is complete once the order has been placed so the current mode of payment is cash on delivery so we need to approve the order manually in the WooCommerce order section so here when we approve the order we set the status to complete the user will now be able to see the appointment in the in the profiles so another important setting is that is that in the appointment settings there is a maximum time for processing the payment so till that time the slot is reserved and if the payment does not go through in these many minutes the slot will reopen for other students 
so once the order is approved you will see that the appointment starts coming in the booking section so next important setting is that in the LMS settings for appointments we enable the booking seats per appointment schedule so when we enable the booking seats so every instructor in their settings will see an option to set the default number of seats for every schedule so for example we have set the default number of seats per schedule as 5 and now the every student who is going to view the appointment will see that there are five available seats for this particular slot and as the slots are booked the available seat count will reduce and in the appointments the instructor will see the multiple bookings as as like this so in the more details the instructor will be able to see the different students who have booked the appointment and in the admin there will be there will be more than one student for the slot that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching